Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to a new episode of OCD Geeks. And I'm Jack. Hi guys, welcome back. November is finally here, Jack. Right, Chris. It has been days that it's raining all day long. I think we have to get accustomed to new temperature. How are yeah. you feeling there? Yeah, same here. Actually, it's raining now and the sky is very cloudy. We are getting closer to the winter season. Like Guns N' Roses said, we're gonna expect some November rain. You're right on that one, Jack. What's new in your week, Chris? Did you watch something particularly interesting? Actually, yes. So, guys, you know us well by now you can pretty much expect a chat about a brand new tv series or at least new for us this time i would like to talk about sisyphus are you familiar with that jack well chris i watched the first episode and i will continue in the near future because it really surprised me how many episodes did you watch until now i'm watching episode five so i'm not even a halfway there on a previous episode we chat about squid game because it is a huge success worldwide. After that, I just wanted to watch something more related to Korean TV shows and dramas. You know, Sisyphus sounded like a pretty good choice. This series is not as violent as Squid Game, so I would recommend to a wider audience. It is still related to science fiction. In the past, we talk about Salvation or Invasion on Apple TV+. This time, it is not about aliens or space travels. It is more about traveling through time. Yes, the setting is a dystopic future. In the first scene, we see a daughter talking to her father about going back to the past to prevent some dangerous happenings for the humankind. Actually, Chris, this first scene really moved me to tears with no food, no advantages, comparing to our present, which is, of course, full of resources. Besides the girl coming from future, the main character character who is actually a genius, a brilliant engineer. At the very beginning he was on an airplane about to crash. Somehow he was able to adjust the plane and to save everybody's life. So he's kind of a hero, but not your typical hero. You know, he has a sense of humor and he's kind of a playboy. Through flashbacks you get a glimpse of his past, mysterious and tragic, because the scenes explore his relationship with brother who passed away. He feels guilty about some particular situation that happened. I don't want to spoil anything, let's say so. What I like about this series is the fact that it mix together so many elements, for example, thrilling atmosphere and scenes full of action. At the same time, it has a light-hearted side. Yes, the jokes are very clever, make me laugh all the time, especially the ones from the protagonist. The daughter is very strict and rigid. She's coming from a future when there is war and fight every day for resources and food so she needs to protect herself compared to the present I mean there are much more advantages would you recommend this series to our listeners Jack of course I would recommend it to all our listeners guys please be careful if you look for Sisyphus there are actually two versions one is Chinese and one is Korean I actually watch them both I mean the Chinese version is not that bad but the Korean really surprised me the most so I would recommend to choose their version of the series we are talking about. If you are interested in watching Sisyphus as well after our episode about it, you're welcome to leave us a comment. If you want to reach us directly, you can simply look for Chris underscore OCD Geeks as well as Jack underscore OCD Geeks both on Instagram and Twitter. You can also check our webpage www.ocdgeeks.me. For now, let them talk our freaks. We stay tuned on OCD Geeks.